When I have patients who join my practice, they're very interested in having a general physical exam. And I think of that preventative visit as extremely important. The exception occurs when there are medical problems that are occurring and those need to be dealt with initially because a physical exam for prevention is not important if there's an acute medical problem going on that needs to be addressed first. 70% of the preventative visit should actually be history taking and I'll explain why. During the executive physical that some people are um, used to getting, they're put into a room, they're given stress tests, looking for signs of infection. During a true preventative visit, we're looking for signs long before those abnormalities occur. And the limitations of an executive physical are just that. What's been going on in your life that is going to be showing up as a disease that can't be measured unless you discuss it? So one of the things I ask about have to deal with the four pillars of health. How is their sleep? What is their exercise routine? How's their nutrition? And what do they do to eliminate stressors that they can eliminate? It's easy to get a blood test and review things that are usually going to be normal. It's very hard to deal with the lifestyle issues that will essentially dictate what the blood work is. That being said, during a physical exam in my office, I will go over typical preventative things like when their last eye exam was, last dermatology exam, last dental visit, are their vaccines up to date? And these things should not be ignored because many patients are not up to date on these aspects of their health that I am not as skilled to evaluate. We talk about nutritional health, but we also need to have health of our mind. And what we put into our mind is either going to be healthy or unhealthy. And I make recommendations of healthy um, books to read specific for the patient where they are in their life at the time of our visit. The other thing I do is after a complete physical exam, I relate to the patient what's going on in our exam, how it relates to their concerns, where they are in their life, and most importantly, what their goals are for their life. Because if they have certain goals, it makes it easier for me to have the patient comply with whatever recommendations I give. I also stress that during our exam, I'll be going over 40, 50 different things. Not everything that I go over with them, I consider equally important. And when someone leaves my office, I hope to impart upon them one or two things that they can do right away to improve their health. These little things help us differentiate our physical exam and make it a lot more practical and more likely for the patient to want to come back next year when their yearly preventative visit is due.